Hello, today we're working with the vegetable known as bitter melon in um, the Philippines. It's believed that it's called ampalaya, and in Cantonese, we call it fuga. Today, we're taking this bitter melon and we're going to make a bitter melon omelet. So, what I'm doing here is just cutting the bitter melon in half and then scraping the seeds and the um, white strands out of it um, because it's a part that you don't eat and then I'm going to slice it up so that uh, we can go ahead and blanch it and then uh, introduce it to our omelet. So what I'm going to do is weigh these bitter melon up because I have more than I can use and so um, once I figure out what the total weight is, I'll go ahead and separate them into three groups so I can go ahead and vacuum pack the cut um, bitter melons and freeze them for later use. Now, bitter melon was one of those vegetables as a kid I didn't like. As an adult, I actually love it a lot. So, um, the one amazing thing about bitter melons is that when you cook with it, the bitterness doesn't go on to um, other foods that you're cooking with, such as, let's say, beef or chicken. So, um, here we are um, dating our um, vacuum pack bag with the weight and the date of the um, bitter melon that uh, we prepared. Okay, now we're getting a pot of water um, ready for uh, blanching. So, just a little bit of salt uh, into a small pot of boiling water. And we'll go ahead and blanch these uh, bitter melon for about uh, 30 seconds. Okay, so once we blanch the uh, bitter melon, we'll go ahead and um, drain them off. And we'll basically cool them down with a little bit of cold tap water. And then we'll set them aside to dry a little bit and we'll prepare our omelets. Here we are making our omelets. Um, my egg has a little bit of milk and um, some salt. Um, we have garlic powder and onion powder in it. And uh, some of you might want to say that I should have cut the bitter melon down a little bit more. I actually like my bitter melon slices a little bit bigger, so that's just my preference. Um, I just like the uh, the larger bite of the bitter melon pieces. So here we are putting together our omelets, and uh, we're going to set them aside and just top it off with a little bit of oyster sauce.